Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 10 Aesthetica wigs that I introduced you to before, but we're going to take a deeper dive, so stay tuned. Okay, so as I said, I did introduce you to these wigs, but today it's going to be a deeper dive. We're going to look at all the features, the cap, I'll put the glasses on, I'll take the colors outside. That way you can really get to know Aesthetica's wigs and features and colors. After I review these wigs, I will put most of, if not all of them, up for sale at a discount on my website, franniesHair.com. It'll be under the open box reviewed wigs section. So just know that when you purchase an open box reviewed wig, I have reviewed it, I've combed it, sometimes I've sprayed dry shampoo or conditioner in it, and that's why I offer it at a discount. If I've worn the wig out, I will tell you that also on the website in the description portion. So I want you to know exactly what you're getting. You do get a good deal, but it only comes in the colors that I've reviewed. So if you want a different color in the same wig, or if you want it brand new, I also have those on my website and I'll have links to these wigs in the description below. Now, open box reviewed wigs differ from one of a kind wigs in that the tag on the inside of the wig has the brand name, the box has the brand name. You get the tag that's attached to the wig. I put that in the box because I do take it off for the reviews. And so you get all of the branded items with the wig. In the one of a kind wigs, they are not part of the line. They are sample wigs, so they don't come with all of that. Nonetheless, these will be discounted. So if you're interested in one of them, head over to the website to see if it's still available. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I want to tell you, these are all Aesthetica wigs. None of them are heat friendly. They haven't come out with their heat friendly line yet, but it's coming soon. All of the caps are their average size caps. And I will tell you how each one fits as we go along. Okay, so let's start with this wig. This is Hudson and Hudson is from the High Society line. The High Society line is the synthetic wigs with the most features. It has a full monofilament top, and a lace front. The color of this one is R1226CHM. Now, when I looked up the color descriptions, I didn't see one with an M on the end, so I don't know what the M means, but R1226CH means a light brown with chunky golden blonde highlights. So you can see there, definitely a light brown running through that with a lot of chunky golden blonde highlights, and I will take this outside. This is definitely a warmer color. You can see the golden color. And let me just spin for you and show you this style. It's, they describe it as medium length. It looks even a little bit longer than medium to me with soft layers that come around the face. Really beautiful feminine look. Okay, so I'll just show this to you. Really pretty. Okay, so as I said, she has a lace front, so I'm gonna show that to you here. I think their lace fronts are done really well. And she has a monofilament top, so it gives you the illusion of scalp, and you can part it anywhere. Let me just pull this over. You can part it anywhere on the top to get that, that look. <laughs> Make it a mess here. Hopefully you can see that. So you can part it anywhere you like. Okay, so her bang measures 10 inches. And just so you know, I have a 21 and a half inch circumference head and my face forehead to chin is eight and a half inches. So her bang measures 10 inches. That seems about right there. Her side is 11 inches. So from the ear tab to here is 11 inches. The crown is 18 inches, so you can see it's long in the back there. And the nape is eight and a half inches. The nape is from here down. 
and the weight is 4.9 ounces. Now I have to say, when I spoke to Tara at Aesthetica, she told me that the pure stretch caps, which are the basic caps with no features, have the most stretch and their average size can fit up to a 23 inch circumference. The more features you get, the less stretch you get because without the features, you have just open wefting and that's very stretchy. But once you add a mono top or a lace front, that stops the stretch. I'm going to say I did not adjust this when I put it on my head and it's fitting me pretty snugly. So I don't know that this one would fit a large head. I'm going to take a look when I show you the cap where it's hooked in and if there's more room for stretch. So we'll take a look at that. But the way it came, it's fitting me pretty nicely. And I have a 21 and a half inch circumference head. All right, so let's try her on with glasses. I'm going to try her under the ear tabs. Okay, so under the ear tabs. It feels a little snug and I don't know, but I think if I wore it all day long, it may start to bother me. Do over the ear tabs. Over the ear tabs, absolutely no problem whatsoever. This is how I would wear the glasses, definitely. Okay, so let's take her outside. All right, so here's R1226 CHM outside. You can really see the light brown and the chunkier highlights there. Such a pretty color. Okay, I just came in from outside. I don't know how the air quality has been around you. It's been really difficult here and I have asthma. So if I'm <laughs> a little bit out of breath, that's why. All right, so let's take a look at the cab. Tried to stay in as much as I could during this time. It's supposed to be pretty much cleared up by now, but I think I'm still suffering from the agitation. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at her cap here. She has the full monofilament top, the extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, open wefting, and this is what I was talking about. The stretch occurs in the open wefting, but once you hit these parts, there's no stretch. So there's less stretch in a cap that has more features. You have the regular material ear tab, the extended open nape, and the bra strap closures, which, let me see where they are. They still have two more adjustments bigger on one side and one adjustment bigger on the other side. So it does have more room than the way I was feeling it. it this adjustment fits me perfectly and just, one last look at the color. The, in the lights, it looks much shinier, you can see, than it did outside. Your basic synthetic fiber, in general, is gonna be your shiniest fiber. And I know that um, a lot of people don't like the shine in synthetic ways. It's funny to me because with our natural hair, we try to make it shinier so it looks healthier. When we have the shiny wig, we try to make it less shiny so it looks like your natural hair. I don't know, are we ever happy? <laughs> anyway, you can take down the shine with a variety of methods. You can use a dry shampoo, you can use a baby powder or a cornstarch. So there's many ways to take the shine down. And as you wear a wig over time, it does tend to lose some of that shine. When you first get it, it's been treated with a silicone that makes it shiny and keeps it soft. And that changes over the time that you wear the wig. So let's move on to the next one. This next one is Sky, and she's from the Natural Collection, which features lace fronts and lace parts. Now, before I get to this wig, I was looking her up so I could give you her measurements, and I forgot to mention that on my website, when you search for a particular wig, search by name, and you may see it pop up two or three times. The reason for that is, the platform that my website is on only gives me 15 pictures per product. And sometimes I have 
37 color choices. So to get all the color choices in, I had to duplicate the product. So if you don't see the color choice in one of the product images, go to the next one and you'll probably see it there. Also, you can always email me to ask if any wig comes in any color. All right, so back to this wig. This is Sky from the Natural Collection, lace front, lace part. Uh, she's described as an angled bob medium length with layers, and you can see that. I'm gonna just take her for a spin. I love this one. She has a side swept bang. She's in the color RH1488RT8, which is described as dark blonde with lightest blonde highlights and golden brown roots. So you can see the roots there and you can see the highlights. And I always like a rooted wig. I think it makes it look more natural. As I said, she has a lace front and a lace part. So let's look at her lace front there and the lace part, which gives the illusion of scalp. And I'll show you the width of the part when I show you the cap. Sometimes the part is wider and that allows you to move your part a little bit within that lace part. And sometimes it's more narrow and you basically have to leave it where it is. So we'll see what this is like. Okay, so her measurements, her bang is six inches. Her sides are 9.25 inches. I really like the razored cut of this. The crown, nine inches, and the nape, 4.25 inches, and she weighs 3.77 ounces. And the cap, again, fits me nicely. I don't think I adjusted her, but we'll take a look at where her uh, bra strap closures are clipped in. Let's take a look at her with glasses on. Okay, so I don't have a problem with her under the ear tabs basically because, let's see if I can show you this, the ear tab ends like right here. So it's, my glasses are actually sitting under the ear tab. So the ear tab may be slightly shorter than it was on Hudson for me. It comes to here, and I didn't mention this on Hudson. I love the Aesthetica metal stays. They're longer and they really grip your head. I, I've said this before, but I think they have the best metal stays in the industry. I really like them. Um, they just grab on. <laughs> okay, so under the ear tabs, not an issue. Let me see, over the ear tabs, not an issue. So I could definitely wear glasses with this wig, no problem. Okay, so let's take her outside. Okay, so this is the RH1488 with a root of eight. You can see the rooting there and the highlights. Again, this is a warmer toned wig. It's more golden in color than ashy. Love the layering on this one. Okay, so let's take a look at her cap. All right, so she has the extended lace front from ear tab to ear tab, lace part, permatease here, open wefting, the regular material ear tabs, extended open nape, and the bra strap closures. Let me see where those are. Okay, so it looks like I have two slots that I can adjust bigger on this side and none on this side. So there is still more room. And I like to show you, here's the permatease. So I like to show you what that looks like on the top. And this is where wigs can really vary in their quality. And you'll see a lot of lower quality wigs look like a rat's nest <laughs> where the permatease is. But look at that, beautifully done. So, um, I like to always check that out and show that to you. Uh, some people don't like permatease at all. I don't mind it. I actually like the height and the shape that it gives my wigs. I think it's there for a reason in certain styles, 
but I do like to make sure it doesn't look like a rat's nest on the top. Okay, on to the next. Okay, meet Mello. She's described as a tussled lob with chunky textured layers, which you can definitely see here. You get some nice wave. It's not curl, but nice texture. She's part of the coffee collection as far as color goes, the coffee inspired collection. Her color is toffee latte, which is described as a light chestnut brown base with painted caramel blonde highlights. And you can see the highlighting happens more at the bottom and at the tips. I really like that. Let me spin around for you. My sister saw this on me and she said, she thinks this is uh, one of the ones that looked the most natural on me. She probably remembers me growing up as a brunette too. Mello is part of the Natural collection. She has a lace front and a lace part. And she, her bangs are nine inches. Seems about right. Uh, sides, eight inches. I have learned that that's measured from the ear tab down. The crown, 12 and a half inches. The nape, 6.25 inches. And she weighs 3.39 ounces. Cap size is adjusted on the inside. I checked that first. There's two notches on one side and one on the other to make this bigger. So I would say this could fit a larger than a 21 and a half inch circumference since that's what I am and I have it adjusted that much. Okay, so let's take a look at with glasses. Okay, so these ear tabs are longer than the ones on Sky, and underneath I do feel some pressure, so I think that would bother me. Over top, no problem. I would definitely wear this over top. Let me show you the ear tabs. I don't know if you can see them against my hair, but the ear tab is here, and that's the metal stay I'm holding onto there. That's how big they are. Love, love, love these metal stays. All right, so let's take her outside. Okay, so here we are, toffee latte. You can see the lighter highlights at the tips and the ends here. And the texture of the style, beautiful. There you have the part and the lace front. All right, let's take off her cap. So you can see here, she has the extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab. The lace part, fairly narrow. You're not gonna have much room to change your part there. There's permatease here, open wefting, normal ear tab, and the extended open nape. And because there's permatease, let me just show you the top of this. There you go. Again, beautifully done. All right, on to the next. in one of their most popular styles. She's a classic A-line bob, and this is one of the most popular colors as well. This is Caramel Kiss with a rooting of four. Caramel Kiss is described as golden brown with light copper blonde highlights. And the rooting of four is a darker brown rooting there. You can see the color here. She has a lace front 
and a lace part. And I have her adjusted a lot and I still have room. So I would say if you have a really petite head, this is not the wig for you. And I'm not sure if it's this style or this style in this color in particular, it's hard to say, but there's definitely room in Jameson. So if you have a larger head, Jameson could be a good one for you. I'm going to spin. This style is just classic. I can see why it's one of the best sellers. Pretty. Okay, Jameson's bang is 10 inches. The sides are seven inches. The crown, 11 inches. The nape, four inches. And she weighs 4.16 ounces. Okay, let's try her with the glasses. Again, she has longer ear tabs, so I definitely feel pressure under the ear tabs. And, <laughs> let me get the hair out of the way. And over the ear tabs, no problem whatsoever. I would definitely wear the glasses over the ear tabs. I'm gonna show you the ear tabs here. They're right. Here, they come down to here, come down to here. So you can see right there at my ear, there was no room to get the glasses under them. yourself she always styles the wigs the same way it's because I don't know how to style hair I am not good at it and that's part of the beauty of wigs for me I don't have to curl flat iron anything I buy the style and I stick it on my head so I'm just trying to show you what it might look like up I basically do the same thing with the styles I hope it's helpful in some way um, I just don't have that talent so Hopefully I'll develop it. In the meantime, let's take this girl outside. Okay, here's a look at the Caramel Kiss with a rooting of four. Beautiful color. And again, a warmer color. I've noticed that the Aesthetica wigs that I got all seem to be of a warmer tone. The next colors I will get, I will definitely get some ashier tones, some reds in there. This is just the start of the reviews into the Aesthetica wigs. You're gonna see more styles, more colors, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's take a look at her cap. All right, so she has the extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab. You can see I've trimmed this one. I will make note of that if I put her up for sale. I trim the lace unevenly on purpose so that you don't see a line going across your head. I feel like it helps to hide it more. You have the lace part, permatees, regular ear tabs, open wefting, and the bra strap closures. And let me show you the permatees on the top of her because I think in a sleek bob, you definitely want it to look sleek on the top. And there you go. Again, nicely done. You comb her, I have her all tussled. So that you can see there you go nicely done okay this is dina she's also from the natural line she has a lace front but no lace part her lace front does go deeper so that you can give the appearance of scalp up front but then further back there's no lace she's described as a short classic layered bob with side swept bangs and a tapered nape let me just spin so you can see all of that. And I was interested to see Dina because 
I felt the description matched Sunset, which is one that I wear all the time from Ellen Villa. And it is similar, except that Sunset does not have this bang. And if I were gonna keep this, I would definitely train this bang back off my face. I don't like things falling in my face, even though the side swept may look nice, this would bother me. <laughs> so either I would warm up my hands and hold it there and do that over and over again, or I do something that I'm not recommending to you because it is absolutely not recommended by the manufacturer, but I'm gonna tell you that I do it anyway. I take a hair dryer, not too close to it, not near the lace. I pull the hair back and I give it like just a short heat burst, then a cool burst, and I just hold it there until it cools off and that helps train it back. But again, that is against the manufacturer recommendations. It's just something that I do because I find it helps to get it off my face. And synthetic wigs that are not heat friendly can be ruined by heat very easily. So you have to be very careful if you try anything like that. Okay, so the color of this is RM826H. Now, when I went to look for that color, the, I didn't see one with the M in it, and I'm not sure what the M means, so I'm gonna ask Tara. It might have to do with some sort of mix, because I saw that in another color, and it had a mix of the color up front or something like that. I'm not really sure. I'll check with her. But R826H is described as a golden brown with golden blonde highlights, which I would say this definitely is. And I really do like the bang on this. I think it adds you know, the way it looks around your face, it adds something. It has, like I said, the lace front, so you can see that there, and it does not have a lace part. Her bang is six inches. Get the shortest bang there. That's six inches. The sides, seven inches. The crown, four and a half inches and a nape 1.75 inches, so that's short there. And she weighs 2.68 ounces. And again, she has less features because she does not have that lace part, and I would say she definitely fits larger. So if you have a larger head, this could be a good wig for you also. All right, so let's try her with glasses. Okay, these ear tabs seem to be are they shorter to me? No, they're coming over the glasses. So you'd probably feel pressure there. And I'll show you the ear tabs in a second. Over the ear tabs, no issue. So yeah, the ear tabs coming down to here on me. Yeah, it's all the way down to my ear there. Now I may have bigger ears than you. I don't have small ears. <laughs> so I'm sure that differs as well and where your ear falls and, you know, we all have variances. I'm just trying to show you the best I can everything about the wig so that you can make the best decision possible for you. All right, let's take this lady outside. Okay, here you go, R826H. And by the way, if you don't know what any of these numbers mean, on my website, I do have a blog that discusses Ellen Villa's color philosophy, but basically the numbers of the colors are industry standard, so that'll help you. The eight is a medium brown, and the 26 is in the blonde family, and the H is the highlighting, so. All right, let's take a look at her cap. So as I said, she has the lace front and you can see that it goes further back here. So you can have the illusion of scalp in here toward the front. There's some permatease here, which I will show you when I turn her right side out again. Open wefting, open ear tabs, and not an extended nape, and the bra strap closures. So let's take a look at the permatease on the top of her. Now I'm gonna say that her permatease is not done as well as some of the others. It's not terrible, but see if you can see that there. 
I know I'm picky, uh, but I want you to see everything. So you can see how it's not quite as smooth there. Okay, on to the next. Okay, this is Angela in the color Caramel Kiss Rooted 4. I don't know what I was thinking, getting so many wigs in the same color. I promise to bring you more colors, but this is a popular color. So um, Angela is the beginning of what I'm going to show you of the pure stretch caps. And those are the caps with no features. And these are your most affordable wigs and the wigs with the most stretch. So this is Angela and she's described as a mid-length layered shag with a gentle flip. So you can see that beautiful waves and or curls, very textured. Uh, you can see the color here, that caramel kiss with the darker rooting of four. Let me spin for you. So she has some nice body and I would probably wear her behind my ears just to take away some of that width for my face because I have a smaller face. Uh, let's see her measurements. Her bangs are four inches. The sides 5.5 inches. The crown six inches and the nape seven inches. So it does have a longer nape here and she weighs 3.03 .03 ounces. Let's try the glasses on with her. Under the ear tabs, I would definitely feel the pressure of that. Over the ear tabs, not an issue. And let me show you those ear tabs. If I can, they're right there. So that they're coming to the top of my ear. There, nice coverage. And for, to style her, you could slick her back, put her behind your ears. You could probably even pull her back again with some kind of clip like this. That'd be cute. All right, let's take her outside. Okay, here's Angela outside. You can see the texture, the color, the caramel kiss with the darker rooting of four. So this will show you the color on a more textured style because I've shown it in straighter styles. Okay, before we look at the cap, I just wanted to make mention of one thing. I find Angela to be itchier than the others. Um, I think it could be because of her texture. She's more coarse hair. Not everybody's as sensitive as me, but I did want to make note of that around the nape and up here. She itches me a little bit. Okay, let's look at her cap. Okay, so you can see it's a basic cap here. Permatees, open wefting, and you can see with all open wefting how much stretch there is. So definitely good if you have a larger head. You have the open ear tab, the open extended nape. I know it's so hard to see with the lighting here and the bra strap closures. And let me show you that permatease on the top. So here you go, you can see it there. You can see a little more of the permatease in this style, I think because it's so textured, but I don't know that it matters that much because of all the texture around the hair. So I find the permatease that looks like a rat's nest on a smooth style is the absolute worst because that just stands out. But when you have a style like this, I don't think it does. Okay, on to the next. Okay, this is Hunter, also with a pure stretch cap in the color Caramel Kiss Rooted 4. Is that right? Yeah. What was I thinking? Okay, I am going to purchase more wigs immediately. So if you would do me a favor, in the comments below, let me know what colors you'd like to see from Aesthetica, and I'm going to get a variety of colors next time. I don't know what was going through my head, but let me know what you'd like to see and I will get it for you. Also, uh, I wanted to mention, if you haven't already joined our private Facebook group, Franny's Hair, 
please come join us. We have a great time. People are putting up pictures of themselves in wigs. We help each other out, give advice, ask questions. It's a lot of fun. So come join us. And the reason I bring that up now is you can also over at Franny's Hair, let me know what colors you'd like to see and also what styles you'd like to see. Take a look at the aesthetic styles and let me know if there are some that you'd like to see. And I will talk to Tara this week. Okay, so this is Hunter. She's a layered bob with full bangs and texturized waves. You can see that there. So if you like a bang, this could be a good one for you. Nice, easy style waves, but not curls and not straight, somewhere in between. There we go. She, her bangs are three inches. So you can see that there. The sides, 7.25 inches. The crown, 6.75 inches. The nape, 4.75 inches and she weighs 3.35 ounces. Let's try the glasses on with her. Snug underneath, which reminds me, this cap is fitting me snugly. So when we look at the cap, I'm gonna look at where the bra strap clips are. Over the ear tabs, not an issue. Styling wise, again, I'd probably go behind my ears something like that, or you could put, put it back in a barrette, pull both sides back. Cute. Could you put it in a ponytail? Hmm, it's a little short for a ponytail. Well, you might be able to get a little short ponytail like that. Cute though, really cute. Okay, let's take her outside. Here she is outside, so you can see the style outside and the color the caramel kiss, the color that I bought everything in. <laughs> really cute. Okay, so let's take a look at her cap. Now, even though she's the pure stretch cap, she does have the mono crown here. So that'll give you the illusion of scalp right at the crown. Uh, if somebody's standing over you and you're sitting down or something like that. Basic, no lace front, permatees all around here, open ear tabs, open extended nape, bra strap closures, and let me see where she's hooked. She has two on the one side to adjust to, and looks like two on the other side as well. So she does have room to be adjusted and she is the pure stretch cap, so you'll get more stretch out of her. It's hard for me to tell if a wig is going to fit a large head because I don't have a large head, but Tara did say that their pure stretch caps can usually fit a 23 inch circumference. Okay, this is Heather. She's described as a medium length bob with soft bangs and face framing layers, which you can see. She's in the color R20 RT8, which is described as a light auburn, golden blonde frost, and golden brown roots. So I don't know if you can see any of the auburn. I can see a little bit here in the lights, but hopefully you'll see that better outside when we go outside. All right, she's a pure stretch cap, so she doesn't have features. Her measurements, her bangs are four inches, so these are longer than the bangs on uh, the last wig, what was that called, on Hunter. These are an inch longer, and I actually like them longer like this for me. I think I have a taller forehead, so that, of course, depends on how you're built there, too. Uh, but the bang is four inches, the side is seven inches. Really nice, I love the layering here. The crown, eight inches, and the nape, five inches. And she weighs 3.39 ounces. She just has a, you know, just an easy style about her, I think. All right, so let's try the glasses on with her. 
Okay, under the ear tabs, I would definitely feel it. This seems to be the theme. Over the ear tabs, not an issue. Let's take a look at those ear tabs. They're right here. They come down to here on me with those beautiful metal stays. There you go. You can see it if I lift it. There's the ear tab right there. And for her, again, I'd probably put her behind my ear. I think that looks really cute like that. Or put her up in a clip like that. See if we could get her in a ponytail. It would be a little one, little ponytail. Okay, let's take this lady outside. Okay, I think you can definitely see the Auburn more out here. So this is R20, RT8. To me, the rooting actually looks a little bit darker than an eight, but I like it nonetheless. And let me just take you around. Okay, so let's take a look at our cap. We have the pure stretch cap, permatees, no lace front, open ear tabs, extended open nape, bra strap closures, lots of stretch. And a look at her top there where she has permatees. I think she's done very well. Okay, this is Jones, and she's described as a choppy layered style with textured waves and wispy fringe. I would say that's definitely how I would describe her. She's in the color 1226 RT4, and 1226 is a light brown with fine golden blonde highlights, and then you have the rooting of four, which is a darker brown. So you can see that there. Let me just spin around for you. So you can see the style. This is one of these, just throw it on and go. I'm breezy. This is easy. <laughs> one of those styles. Um, her measurements, her bang is 4.25 inches. So again, a longer bang, which I like, cause then I can trim it if I like. I can sweep it to the side a little bit easier. The sides, seven inches, the crown, seven inches, the nape, 4.75 inches. I don't know if you can see that there. And she weighs 2.96 ounces. She's nice and light. She's pure stretch, so I feel room in this cap. I think you could have a larger head and wear this one. Let's try the glasses on with her. Let's see. I think I could wear her under the ear tabs. Seems to have room under the ear tabs. And over the ear tabs, no problem. And I'll show you these ear tabs. They end here, so I do have more room to fit my glasses under there. Make sure I have it even. Yeah, I do have a little room there. So I think I could go either way with the glasses. All right, let's look at this color outside. Okay, here you go. It's the 1226 RT4. So you do have the darker root there and the golden highlights. Cute style. Okay, and let's look at our cap. Basic cap, permatease, all on the top, open wefting, open ear tabs, open extended nape, bra strap closures. You have this stretch in there. And let's look at the permatease from the outside. There you go. Okay, on to our very last wig.
Okay, we started long, we're finishing long. This is Reeves. Right off the bat, there's room in this cap. So if you have a larger head, she could be good for you. She's described as a softly layered, long style with loose waves, which you can see. I really have not combed out her waves at all. So you can see those there. Nice and long, a lot of hair here, but very light, I have to say, and I'll give you the weight on this, but she doesn't feel very dense or very heavy. The color is ROM 6240 Rooting of Four, and, that's it. and the description of that is golden brown base with a subtle graduation to copper blonde, so it's like an ombre kind of effect. Her measurements, her bang, 6.5 inches. Her sides, nine inches. The crown, 12 inches. The nape, 11 and a half inches. And she weighs 4.9 ounces. So not really heavy for this much hair. Trying on the glasses with her. I think I have room under the ear tabs and no issue over the ear tabs. So let me just show you her ear tabs here. They're coming to here, which is all the way down. I don't, I may have had room because this is fitting me looser. So take that into account. Maybe if I had adjusted her and she was fitting me tighter, I might actually feel the glasses under the ear tabs because they do come down to my ear. So just keep that in mind. Uh, to style her. Now, this lady, you could definitely style um, if you have skills, <laughs> which again, I do not. But let's try putting her up. I would do like a little French twist kind of thing. Maybe have the front hang down like that. I'm sure you could put her in a bun. You could pull back just the sides like this. Put one of these in. Of course, I'm not looking at the back. If I were to do this, I would take the time to look at the back and make sure it looked nice. Yeah, I'm sure there's a ton you could do with her. You could probably braid her could do so many things. Okie doke, let's take her outside. Okay, so this is ROM 6240 with a darker rooting of four. Okay, so let's look at Reeves' cap. And you can see here, she's a basic cap, has some permatease here, open wefting, open ear tabs, open extended nape, bra strap closures. And let's just take a look at the top, which again, done very nicely. Okay, so there you have it, 10 Aesthetica wigs, 10 different styles, a few different colors. Remember to let me know what colors and styles you'd like to see so I know what to buy next. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to send me an email at my email address, franniesehair at gmail.com. You can also contact me through my website, franniesehair.com, or you can comment below this video. However you contact me, I will get back to you as quickly as I can. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.